India. One is that Supreme Court indicated in serious terms the Home Ministry. It said the Home Ministry is bent upon destroying NRC process that is National Register of Citizenship process from the very beginning. It, particularly in Assam and Northeastern states, this process is very, very important. Wherein there are complaints that a huge number of illegal migrants are uh, there. So this uh, issue took some, uh, led to many agitations, many violent turns. And in 1985, Assam Akkad gave some kind of finality to this and set 1971 as a year of criteria for citizenship. But after uh, Narendra Modi government coming to power, uh, it uh, played with this thing in, a, in their own way and brought 2019 Citizenship Amendment Act. In this Amendment Act, they said that if people from other countries, neighboring countries like Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, etc., if they are here, though illegal or legal, if they are Hindus and uh, certain related religions, they will be provided citizenship. Whereas Muslims, Christians, and other religious people of religious affiliations, they won't get citizenship rights. This is blatantly unjustified because the citizenship is provided on the basis of uh, borders of a country and also constitutional uh, property, constitutional uh, clauses are not on the basis of their religion because India as a secular country provides equal status and equal rights to people irrespective of their religion, caste, creed, gender or any other status. So in this way, the government blatantly took a uh, partisan stand granting only citizenship only to Hindu migrants. More than that, in Assam particularly, after BJP assuming power under Hemant Kumar Biswas, the, sorry, Sarvanan Sabarwal, they took a uh, different and difficult stand to providing citizenship. This citizenship verification is a process to accord legitimacy to the people living there and also to uh, provide security to the state and thereby uh, protect the harmony of the state. But what happened in practice is that very stringent conditions and unwarranted uh, hunting made um, citizenship very difficult process. That way, lakhs of people were deprived of their citizenship rights for not showing certain uncertain documents which are not there after decades of life. That way, a wife got citizenship, but uh, her husband didn't get it. If her father got her citizenship, son failed. Did this happen? And more than six lakhs of uh, six lakhs of people complained that, but they are deprived of their citizenship. There is no place to complain. 2018 December 31st was the deadline uh, set for this. After that, their complaints are pending. Now the government says that they will be settled by July. But what happens uh, till then if they are denied again? That is a big question. Now, the, before the Supreme Court, government, uh, Central Government Attorney General K.K. Venugopal argued that because of forthcoming Lok Sabha elections, 157 companies of uh, security personnel are required. So they have to be redeployed elsewhere and the NRC process have to wait. This has uh, irked the uh, Supreme Court so much so that they said the government is um, out to destroy NRC process from the day one. So in making this uh, very serious comments, I think Supreme Court has in, in its mind all these complications. This uh, making the citizenship verification a complicated process, bringing out uh, religious uh, uh, digits into it and finally now asking to defer it. In this, there are, there, are, there are very clear political uh, compulsions also, particularly in northeastern states. This has led to a big upheaval. Even those governments and leaders who are with BJP, they formed a united front to fight against this NRC bill because most of them 
uh, are facing this kind of uh, deprivation of uh, citizenship so they formed a committee bjp afraid of losing its uh, majority in for coming elections is very i hope was very hopeful of getting more seats in north east but this nrc blow came in its uh, came in the way of its ambition so that way uh, now they they want to defer this nrc process complete the elections and then to take again if they come back to power which may or may not happen so supreme court having censored all these things one is complicating the citizen verification process second one is unfair and unjust practices that were followed there and thirdly bringing religious segregation in providing citizenship and fourth one now totally deferring entire process instead of clearing the grievances of the hapless uh migrants there so this way the warning is to be taken all seriousness home minister rajnath singh said the government is committed to completing the process and it is very much there and they are take they took up it after 35 years of delay maybe others have delayed it because of their own political political compulsions and bjp is um, actually hedging it because of their own political hindutva line in this process rajnath singh uh, supported uh, rajnath singh justified the kind of religious segregation they brought in providing citizenship earlier kiran raju the minister of state explained the position whereas uh, rajnath singh went a step further and said that uh, legal migrants of even muslim community from other countries uh, can get it but what about um, the division kiran raju said in the lok sabha that uh, the kind of uh, citizenship provision for uh, separately for hindus is made because they are my minorities in those countries so minorities persecuted there and uh, came to india to be provided with citizenship that is the logic given by raju but uh, uh, same thing must apply to minorities in india also Uh, muslims and christians sikhs etc there are some minority communities in this uh, country so don't they enjoy the same uh, don't they enjoy the same kind of protection that uh, modi government is trying to provide to the migrants or legal or illegal from other countries respecting the rights of minorities and humanitarian grounds from other countries must also be applied to the minorities were facing persecution harassment and also several problems in this country whatever are their problems are to be looked into the, the our constitution clearly provides equal rights and equal treatment for all people irrespective of their religious faiths gender etc etc so rajnath singh and kiran raju telling that they are committed to nrc by by at the same time uh, telling uh these uh, differences justifying these differences is uh, highly objectionable i think government and parliament should also look into this thing and now that elections are almost around the corner any drastic action should not be there and this kind of differing the process for long will also vitiate the atmosphere and also create uh, discord between the people so a supreme court rightly warned the center should follow and uh, implement a free fair and uh, humanitarian approach in this uh, nrc process and also see that no pers- no eligible person is denied citizenship on flimsy grounds and also it it must stop asking for uh, certain things which can't be fulfilled after so many decades so it must be a process of absorption it must be a process of uh, protection it must be a process of harmonial uh, readjustment and not uh, the kind of uh, any kind of uh, vengeance or hunting or uh, uh, filtering of uh, people who are there for uh, decades now we may take precautions in future and uh, may we may prevent uh, um, what is a uh, infiltration of any kind of unwarranted elements but human angle and human 
compassion should not be lost sight of. And then, in the name of uh, deferring till elections and um, reprojecting you after that is also equally political uh, opportunism. It amounts to political uh, opportunism and only goes to help uh, the religious bygods spearheaded by so-called Hindutva elements that should not be allowed and Supreme Court warning should be taken in all uh, seriousness, I think.